Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. I'm officially in my third trimester and time is going by so fast and I can't believe I only have three months left. Time just went by so fast and I've been kind of like loving pregnancy to be honest. Baby has been treating me so well because I haven't had any morning sickness or food aversions or anything. I had a lot of anxiety during this pregnancy but I just haven't talked about it that much or showed it that much. Obviously I have been telling my therapist but we are working through that. It's just because like luckily I have been having an easy pregnancy but you know there's always just like this like in the back of my mind that like something's going to happen or um and I'm just like so scared of childbirth and just like the after and like the unknown and stuff like that but i'm working through that <laughs> but overall i have been having an easy pregnancy so i am pretty blessed with that but it's fine i think it's because i felt like i was robbed from the experience of when you are pregnant for the first time because I had a miscarriage in January so I think that's why I just feel so anxious all the time but I yeah like I don't talk about it too much I try to think positive because my baby boy is doing quite well all the checkups have been great and so he is healthy and I just can't wait to meet him in November so I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm rambling too much about how anxious <laughs> and scared I am about this pregnancy because I mean I'm sure like other time mothers also feel this way too. I'm really scared. I'm just really happy that this pregnancy has been really easy because a lot of my friends also say that like wow like you're glowing and it looks like you've been having an easy pregnancy but like deep down I'm like, I'm anxious, I'm scared, you know? So yeah, let's move on in this video. In this video, I wanna talk about my second trimester. We're gonna do a recap because in my other video, I talked a little bit about my first trimester. In my first trimester, I was just exhausted all the time. I just had no motivation to do anything and I was just like really, really moody. I took a lot of naps. That was like pretty much the gist of first trimester no morning sickness, just some migraines and headaches. Other than that, that was pretty much it. Oh, let me show you my belly. I just feel like I am like showing a lot more now. I feel super pregnant and I actually like look pregnant now because before I just look fluffy and big and I feel like I've had like issues with my weight before and I just feel like I have like you know body dysmorphia so I just feel that like oh my god I'm just like never gonna look pregnant that was like during my first trimester and then in my second trimester so I'm looking pregnant <laughs> in this video I'm pretty much going to talk about what I've been up to some of the good things and some of the bad things if you like to see more pregnancy videos give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you have any tips or recommendations please leave them in the comments below because I would love to know as a first-time mama but yeah so let's get into it so during my second trimester I was traveling for two months it was in the beginning I went to six different countries I went to Italy France Switzerland South Korea Japan and Taiwan so I went in May all the way to like the beginning of July I came back July 5th and honestly I would not recommend going to Asia pregnant in the summer it was just so hot I had like a few meltdowns I was just so hot like being pregnant and it's hot and humid is just like it just doesn't mix well but overall what I do recommend is traveling during second trimester because that's when you have like the most energy because you aren't that big, but your energy picks up a little bit. For me, I was like able to do a lot of things. I wasn't as fatigued as I was my first trimester. And traveling pregnant, like you get like special treatment and everyone was just so nice to you. And I was just like, oh my God, like I love this, you know? It was great. Everyone was like so nice and accommodating and everything. But the only thing that really upset me, but it's like a me problem, but like, usually I jam pack and like maximize 
my time while I'm traveling, but my husband was like, we literally can't do all of this because you're walking a little slow. I would get like tired really easily, but I did walk a lot, but I felt like I could have walked a lot more or did a lot more if I wasn't pregnant. It was like raining in like most of the countries we went to. And so during when it was like really, really raining really hard, we just like rested a lot, hung out in our hotel or just like go around like nearby or just like eat i took that time to just relax and stuff so that helped a lot too i was just like so hard on myself like i was like i want to like seize the day and like you know like i just want to do all these things and like i kind of like had like meltdowns and stuff like that but it's okay you know it's the hormones and i'm pregnant and i can't expect myself to do everything like i usually do so i was just really hard don't be hard on yourself get rest when you need you just can't do it you just you just can't do it so yeah that was the beginning of my second trimester in the beginning of when i was traveling i was tired but then it definitely picked up because you know I did give myself some rest yeah and if I wanted to go back to the hotel and nap then I did but yeah that was really fun some of the good parts of the second trimester is yes my energy did pick back up I was able to stay out late with my friends I had like a few weddings and so we just like stayed out really late or even like in like when I was like in Taiwan like I went karaoke with my friends and we stayed up till like 3 a.m. So I still got it like the ABG in me like still out there like baby wants to party you know he's down. Another good thing is that I have been maintaining my weight. One thing that I had like anxiety about was gaining a lot of weight while I was pregnant but I only gained about five pounds this far so I have been maintaining my weight so it's like I've been pretty good. I am like really surprised and every time I go see my doctor she was like oh you're like you're looking really good. You're maintaining your weight. I'm just really happy. I also took my glucose test and I passed. I do not have gestational diabetes. I thought like oh maybe it could be because of my weight and but actually it could happen to anyone. So and some of the bad parts about second trimester I actually got heat rashes while I was in Taiwan. I got it like on my legs and my arms and I was like worried I was like what is happening I thought it was like mosquito bites but then I like I was like no like it doesn't look like mosquito bites so then I took a picture and it looked like it was like blistering and stuff like that it was like little bumps all over my body it was like sporadic and it was really weird so then I took a picture and sent it to my doctor and she goes oh yeah like those look like heat rashes so just stay in a cool place so I just like tried to like stay cool all the time it was healing a week when I came back from my trip it was really, really hot so then it like started flaring up again and it was just it was it was so bad but now it's all gone I still have some scarring it just looks so bad I would wear dresses and I just it just looked so bad I didn't want to cover up because then I would just like get hot and like what if it flared up but now it's all gone and I'm happy about that and another thing during second trimester that I developed I got carpal tunnel in my left hand this is my dominant hand so it was just hurt so bad every time I write eat because I hold a spoon or if I hold a fork or chopsticks, especially chopsticks. I prefer eating with chopsticks than like a fork. Like, <laughs> this is so Asian. I could use my right hand, but like, I don't know, it just feels a little weird. But if I practice enough, I think I'll be okay. I'm left-handed, so yeah. I kind of feel like my three fingers, it's still like right now, like a little numb on the fingertips, but it doesn't hurt that much here anymore, so I'm glad about that. It just feels a little tingly on my fingertips, but yeah, like, there was just a time where it just, like, hurt so bad, and I just couldn't do anything, couldn't sleep. I would ice it, but, like, it barely even helped, and I can't, like, do anything. I can't put solemn paws or, like, you know, sun. Like, it's just, like, a tiger bomb. It's so sad. I just can't use any of those, and, like, I feel like it would help. 
I think there's another word for it, like mommy thumb. There, it's probably gonna be worse when the baby comes to. And another thing is that like my gums have been bleeding. If you look on like the Flow app and then also the Bump, and there's some really good apps. What to expect? They're the apps that I've used for any of pregnancy tips or concerns or anything. I was like, why is my gums bleeding? It's so weird. It's not as bad. I think it happened a, more during like the end of my first trimester and then the beginning of my second trimester and then my first trimester I had like bloody nose. I don't have that much bleeding anymore on my gums but yeah definitely some bleeding. Another thing during my second trimester that I have experienced was like my pelvis and like my hips expanding. It's literally the worst pain of like my life. Like I would cry and like one time I was about to go to sleep and I just felt this really sharp pain in my pelvis and left hip area and I just cried for so long and my husband was just like, he's not very comforting. He's trying to be comforting, like soothing me. He's useless. And then one time I was driving and literally it just it hurt so bad. I just didn't know what to do. I was like, I'm gonna die on this freeway. Should I pull over? I called my mom and like my husband and like they're like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I don't know. Like it just hurts so bad. So then I started doing prenatal yoga to help with that. I heard that it helps. I just, I feel like it has been helping a lot. So that is one thing I have been doing is doing prenatal yoga, just doing a lot of stretches. I heard it's better for labor to do prenatal yoga. So I have been doing that. But yeah, that is one of the major things during my second trimester of the pain that like I experienced like in my pelvis and like hip area, like worst pain of my life. I'm pretty sure when I give birth, that is gonna be pretty bad. So yeah, that is pretty much all the bad parts. The one thing I have been loving this second trimester is feeling the baby kick and like move and it just feels like so real now. It kind of like makes me a little emotional because I feel like it's like real. Like it kind of feels like an alien in your body, but it's just like so like heartwarming and stuff so that you feel the little kicks. Um, that happened around like second trimester. I felt the little flutters in the beginning of the end of first trimester and the beginning of second trimester, but I felt it a lot more, I think, when like, it's like 24, like 25, I started feeling it a lot more. He is like so active in the morning and after I eat as well. It just like warms my heart that like he's kicking. It just feels more real now that I like, I feel his little kicks and stuff. So that is my second trimester. Now I'm my third trimester and I have three months left and um, I'm getting a little anxious. I have a lot to look forward to. So, so I have some classes that I signed up for and I just want to be prepared for when the baby comes. Some breastfeeding classes and also newborn classes just so I can be prepared. And I asked for a midwife as well. And then I have a baby shower and the theme is gonna be so cute. It's baby Dior inspired. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. So I'm so excited. I need to set up the nursery. So I'm just waiting until after the baby shower and then I can do that and I just need to clean up my stuff as well. I need to clean up the baby's room as well because it has like a lot of my purses and that's what I use my office for. So that is a wrap up for my second trimester. If you want to keep more up to date, definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post more there. So if you want to see more baby content, definitely head over there on my TikTok and Instagram. But I will try to post more on YouTube. So I'm trying to be better. I promise. But I know like when I have a baby, it's going to be hard. But I'm going to really try. I promise. I'm going to really try. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.